Hello, good morning. I am Rabia Oxanya Mateo, 23, representing the city of Love, Iliilo. I am biracial. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I did introduce myself na. <laughs> yes. I'm actually biracial. My mom is an Ilonga and my dad is an Indian, if you can see through my features. However, I was raised in a broken family and uh, I experienced a really poor life. And uh, I was able to rise from our situation as well because of educating people, because of educating myself. And now I decided to go give back to my community and uh, I became a lecturer for physical therapy. That's why I was able to go to One beautiful word would probably guapa, which means beautiful. I feel like we have this um, statement in Iliilo, basta Ilonga guapa, which means every Ilonga is beautiful. And I'm very proud that um, with Miss Universe Philippines, I was able to bring that kind of aspect that every Filipino would know that statement, basta Ilonga guapa. If there would be one thing that I learned through my mother that would be always forgive people because there's no such thing as a perfect person. And when my dad left us, she never speak ill about him. That's why in every situation, even though other people would hurt me, I still choose to see the goodness in them. You know what? Even though you're struggling, you can still become the symbol of hope. I myself, um, I had fears, uncertainty, but I still um, realized that I could still give back to Iloilo City. Out of my pocket, I decided to go for the frontliners, and I know that's just a simple way, but that's my best way to help our modern heroes. Being a Miss Universe, you become influential. So I want to go back to my advocacy, which is Feed Me and a Radio program, which we help those children living near the dump site. If you have seen my Beyond the Coastline video, I want to go back there. And we need a lot of materials, learning materials. And I feel like being a Miss Universe, I will be able to pull donors into our project to make it foster even better. Feed Me and a Radio program. I feel that a phenomenal woman is red because red is power and I am red. As of the moment, I am working from home because we don't have classes, um, live classroom classes. That's why we decided to conduct our lectures online. I feel like nowadays we need to adopt to the situation. So um, we need to be versatile in what is happening around us. And online business or working from home is such a huge opportunity for us to spend more time with our family and as well um, trying to enjoy the life. I would definitely want to bring all of you to Hiro Cathedral because you know what in Iloilo we don't have much of natural spots but Hiro Cathedral is like an establishment that witnessed the love and devotion that Ilongos have towards God and I feel like it's been there since the Spanish era so with timeless memories and modernization we were able to you know arrive to be the Ilongos that we are today. You know what? It was also asked to me during Miss Iloilo, and I want to bring to the global community our very own hablon, that is our indigenous fabric. And I feel like, you know, it enriches the culture of not just Iloilo, but of our country. Every time I wear hablon, I don't just wear Iloilo, but I wear Philippines.
You need to invest in yourself. As of the moment, there's a lot of destructions. There's a lot of bashers or backlash. But at the end of the day, when you practice self-love, you get to know the right weapon in order for you to win life. And I feel like right now, I am ripe enough to win the competition because I've done everything that I could to transform to become a phenomenal woman that I am. Thank you. Thank you, Paul. <laughs> Miss Iloilo City, Rabia Mateo, an Ilonga Indian biracial beauty. She grew up in a poor and broken family. Through her mom, she learned the values of forgiveness and hope. She loves their local phrase, Basta Ilonga Guapa, because she truly is beautiful inside and out. Ilo Ilo City, Rabia Mateo. With our first contender from this batch from Ilo Ilo City, Rabia Mateo. Congratulations. Next up, we have. All right, now we have Miss Ilo Ilo City, Miss uh, Rabia Mateo. How are you? I'm doing great. I feel like I'm one step closer from having my first national crown. Well, you are actually. You are in the top 16. So let's see how it goes with this, um, this comment here. You have 30 seconds to answer this. Throughout this journey, you have discovered that you are a phenomenal woman who is conditioned for greater. How can you create a positive and lasting impact to the world around you? Your time starts now. First of all, I need to stick to my core, which is being passionate about educating people. I am a lecturer, and I've been pursuing this because this education had helped me to have that comfortable life that I and my family deserves. And I want to push people. I want to... Uh, I want them to achieve greater things in life through me. And I know with Miss Universe, anything is possible because I am a phenomenal woman with a heartfelt beauty. Thank you very much, Miss Ula Yudo City, Rabia Mateo. Gentlemen, please welcome here to the final five from Ilo Ilo City, Rabia Mateo. Congratulations, and now it is time for us to find our final contender. In our now, let's call on Ilo Ilo, Rabia Mateo. Good evening. Good evening, Casey. How are you doing? I'm nervous. <laughs> 
for everybody? Okay. <laughs> so I will ask you two questions. You're able to choose a number backstage. After you uh, talk for 30 seconds, you will hear this. And then I will ask another question where you receive another 30 seconds. Okay. Clear? Yes. All right, here we go. Your first question. If you could create a new paper currency with the image of any Filipino on it, dead or alive, who would it be and why? If I were given the chance, I want to use the face of Miriam Defensor Santiago. For those who don't know, she was an Ilonga, but what I admired about her is that she used her knowledge, her voice to serve the country. And I want to be somebody like her, somebody who puts her heart, her passion into action. And after all, she is the best president that we never had. Okay, it's time for your second question. This pandemic has made clear our priorities, essential or non-essential. Where do pageants stand in this time of crisis? As a candidate, I know I'm not just the face of Il Ilo City, but I am here carrying hope and as a symbol of light in the darkest times. And as of the moment, I want to help my community. I want to use my strength to make an impact. And that is the essence of beauty pageant. It gives us the power to make a difference. Well said, Ilo Ilo, Rabia Mateo. Next up, let's see Ilo Ilo, Rabia Mateo. Thank you so much, Ilo Ilo. Only two remained. Let me remind you that in case the winner fails to fulfill her duties and obligations, the first runner up will take over as Miss Universe Philippines. I will announce the name of the winner first. That means the other contender is our first runner up. Ladies, take a deep breath. It is time for the moment of truth. Miss Universe Philippines 2020 is. Miss Ilo Ilo! Yeah. 